Hey loves, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today, I, since we are kind of going into New Year's and this really can actually be for anything, any kind of event where you have to have your makeup stay on for a long time or maybe you work really early in the morning till really late at night. So this is going to be my tried and true tips on how to make your makeup last all day as well though as look like it has a, a skin like quality to it so it doesn't look overdone so before we get going hit the subscribe button share this with somebody you think might like it and let's do it so the first tip you want to do is you want to start with a primer that is for your skin all right I love for my skin is the Hangover Too Faced Primer. Now, what primers do is they put a barrier between your skin and anything else that you put on top of it. They also help the color payoff be more um, efficient to any of your products, as well as they help the product of your foundation, um, anything else like that, stick to the skin and basically stay on a lot longer. So this is my favorite because I do have that normal to drier skin type with just a little bit of texture. Uh, so I always use primers first because I give them a long time to sink in. Now I'm using my Milk Blur Stick and I'm using this in the sections of my face that have a tendency to become a little extra shiny throughout the day or evening. This is definitely something that I do when I prep all of my clients, but you wanna make sure that you use very sheer layers. You do not want to pile on the primer. You want to use it in strategic areas and use it very kind of sparingly because usually for the most part with primers, you don't need a ton. And so I just kind of put this all in the center of the face. Also, one thing to note is that if you're going to be taking pictures for this event, which most times you are, unfortunately skipping a SPF step, which I don't love to say because that's not great. Now, of course, don't skip it if you're doing something during the day. But if this is for like nighttime and you want it to like really stay on, especially for my um, more mature 40 plus women, is you want to skip sunscreen in your uh, skincare routine as well as foundation because sometimes it has a tendency to have flashback. So you have that white face in pictures. So something to remember. So I'm gonna let that sit while I go ahead and do the base of my eye. For me, I always like to start with a cream-based eyeshadow. You can obviously start with a primer, especially if you have more oilier lids, starting with a primer first and then going in with a cream product is really gonna be a great way to ensure that your eye you know, your eye color is not going to crease or move throughout the day. Now, I don't have oily lids, so I'm just gonna go right in with a cream-based product. We also know that at using a cream first, and that's what we're actually gonna do over the whole face, creams first, powders after, will really give you a huge longevity in your makeup, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this product by Bite. It's in Cashew, and it is a multi-stick. And I already kind of think that I'm going to be doing this kind of, I would say it's definitely going to be a soft glam look, but it's going to be a little bit smokier. And I'm just applying it with a Sigma brush. This is the Sigma F75. It is a synthetic brush and something that I really do prefer to apply creams with. And I'm going to bring this up to my crease and you don't have to bring it up as far if you don't want to. You can just leave it on the mobile lid, but I think it looks a little bit nicer whenever you do bring it up on the eyelid and past the crease, especially with a hooded eye. All right, so now that that is on, I'm going to go into my Norvina palette, and I am going to go in here with a transition color first, and we're going to go into um, Incense, and we're just going to tap off excess and start to go right over that cream, and we're going to start to build a little bit of color. And of course, you can start with any cream eyeshadow color you want. If you want to go super neutral, you know, uh, Laura Mercier makes some am amazing cream uh, colored and cream based primers. A lot of companies do. Uh, nude Sticks make some fantastic ones. So we're going to just kind of go in here with a transition shade. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go in with a little Luxie brush. And this is the mini tapered brush. And we're going to go into Passion here. 
and we're going to build this up just a little bit. And again, these are all matte shadows just for right now. We're going to add a little bit of glitz and glamour around the lash line. Now we're going to go in with a waterproof liner. Using something waterproof around the eyes is going to be really important because usually, obviously, they have more staying power and they usually are a little bit more dry, so they take very little time to kind of dry down and get moving, so in case you're in a hurry. So I'm going to be using uh, this new Mally Beauty waterproof eyeliner, and it's in hazelnut. And we're going to go right along the lash line. And we're going to build up a little bit of definition at the lash line. These are really creamy and nice, and they set right away. And you can smudge these out if you want. And I'm going to tight line as well. Now, I'm not going to go over that with any kind of powder, but if you have a really hard time, even with waterproof eyeliner sticking and staying in place, you can go ahead and set this liquid or this cream eyeliner with a little bit of a powder eyeshadow in the same color. Now for a little bit of extra fun, what we're going to do is we are going to go in with another Maylee Beauty, and this is her liner in Gold Glimmer. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little hint of gold right here in the center of the eye. I'm going to take my hand and just touch it out. You don't want this pigment to be too aggressive because we're going to go over this with a little bit of powder shadow. But we're just laying this down to give the powder shadow something to grab onto. Going back into my Norvina palette, we're actually going to go in with Dazzle. And we're just going to touch here. This look actually would be fantastic for New Year's Eve. Maybe a mother of the bride. Maybe not with too much sparkle here. All right, so now before we go on to the foundation, I highly recommend using a setting spray, one with alcohol in it. So you know that I don't love to use these on a regular basis. They are, for me, held for special occasions like this where I need my makeup to stay on all day. I'm using, of course, my favorite, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm going to set my primer and my skincare. All right, so now I'm actually going to take the same liner we first went in with Hazelnut, and I'm going to do my waterline on the bottom. Now, not very many liners stay very well in the bottom waterline, so I'm going to be taking the Pretty Vulgar. Uh, this liner is their potted liner, and I'm going to be doing it in the bottom waterline. So color correcting underneath the eye is going to be super important. I don't have a lot of dark circles under my eyes, but I do have quite a few videos on how to cover that up, and I'll put them in the description box below for you to look at. But for me, using the Color Science 3-in-1, it's a SPF under the eyes, and also a color corrector and some skincare is really sufficient for me. All right, so the under eyes are nice and bright. Um, the next step is going to be picking the right foundation for you. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Water Blend. Reason being is I also love the uh, Max face and body, you want to pick something that is a little bit lighter weight that has either a skin finish to it or more of a satin matte finish to it and one that really, in my opinion, isn't too, too heavy because the more you put on, the more chance it's going to sit into fine lines and really not perform the way you want it to. So this is a great one. It also has um, film formers in it, I believe is what they're called. Yes. And basically what that means is when you put it on, it's going to stay there in place. It's water resistant, it's humidity, it's humidity resistant, it's not going to move. And you can apply this with your hands. You can also use this foundation on your body. Um, it definitely, I've been known to use this on my legs or on my decollete if I have a low, you know, cropping dress or something like that, I will definitely use this foundation. Max Face and Body is something that they actually, fun fact, used to use on um, uh, Baywatch. So when picking a concealer, I'm using the Jouer concealer, you want to pick one that doesn't have too much um, playtime to it. So this one is a beautiful uh, concealer, but it definitely dries down and stays where you want it. So again, looking for long wearing formulas, everybody, is going to be really important. This foundation and this concealer are all long wearing formulas. 
Now, if you feel like you need more coverage in areas, I like to use the makeup, um, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and I use it in the same color that I am, and I just kind of add it here and there. You know, you can, if I was doing somebody's makeup, I would get much more precise with this. Um, I probably would use a very small brush, and I would kind of do pointillism almost, where you just cover up blemishes wherever you need them. But since it's on myself, I don't necessarily take that much time. Um, but you can definitely use a small, pointed, tiny brush. Use a concealer that matches your natural skin tone and kind of just cover up areas where you feel like you need a little bit of extra coverage. So now we're gonna use some cream products for highlight and contour. I'm gonna go back using in my Jouer concealer and I am just using the concealer in a little bit of a deeper shade. And again, building layers, you don't have to do this. This also can be complete overkill. But if you are going for a little bit more of a dramatic effect, remember to blend your creams up towards your uh, cheekbone. Um, but if you really want a soft definition that is gonna last all day, absolutely doing this technique where you do a little bit of cream before and then going in with powder afterwards is going to be a showstopper. All right, so I kind of just finished this side a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take on my Zoeva. This is my current favorite, Lux Powder Fusion in 134 to set the under eyes. I'm really loving this. And I want to show you what this Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder, um, Ambient Lighting Powder, excuse me, does right over that cream highlight or that matte cream highlight. It brings out the iridescence or the kind of shimmer um, or glow, I should say, in the uh, hourglass powder that isn't normally there unless you kind of set it over a cream. And it gives you a natural highlight. It's so, so pretty. I love that trick. Now I'm gonna go in with, again, you guys, this is never about the products I use, but I'm going in with La Mer, the powder, because I know I can trust it. It lives in my kit. It has for years. You got to set your uh, foundation, unless you absolutely hate, 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 hate powder, and then you're gonna set this though then with your setting spray, maybe once or twice before you walk out the door. But I do recommend setting this section of the face, the whole face, with just a tiny bit of setting powder. You do not need to use a lot. All right, so to finish the eyes, I'm gonna go in with Passion first. And I'm going to take that underneath the eye and smoke that so out. So for me, I'm going to go a little bit darker. But if you want this to be lighter, it's not about colors. It's also about, this is more about the technique of how to do this. Now, we're going to go into Voltaire now. And we're going to go really close to the lash line. This is a darker color. And we want to make sure that these two connect. Now, if you are a little bit nervous about doing this kind of under eye thing just put a very soft amount of something little underneath the eye so maybe just a little bit of passion on a tiny detailing brush or just a tiny bit of voltaire on a detailing brush just so you have a little bit of definition underneath there so it isn't so uh, dramatic now when we're talking about the lips you always want to kind of fill in the lip first with a lip liner Reason being is it's just gonna help with the longevity of your lipstick as well as feathering. Now I'm just gonna go in with a neutral color. This one is by um, Sephora, it's by their Lip Story. I think it's like $8 and it is um, number, number nine. Number nine or number six? I'll find it and put it below. So that's basically it. To finish it off, I'll just do a little bit of extra powder, whichever powder you want, just right here in the center of the face. And now remember, if you want to, I would suggest setting this with a setting spray right now, farther away. And then what you want to do is you want to take your beauty sponge and you want to gently, you do not want to put a lot of pressure, just gently tap that setting spray into the skin. What this does is sometimes, you know, setting spray can leave like dots on the face. And again, if you are not a powder person, using a setting spray or a rehydrating spray on top of your powder will let the powder melt into the skin and make it look glowy and like one again. 
All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope this helps you know how to layer products and how to make them last a lot longer. I mean, really, honestly, since we are going into, uh, you know, holiday parties as well as New Year's Eve parties, this is going to be perfect for you because it's still going to look like skin. But also, you can take this any time of the year, uh, you know, if you want your makeup to last all day long. It's really about choosing those formulas. Now, also, long-lasting makeup is not, for me, an every everyday situation so it does take more time so there are a little more extra steps that you have to do to make sure and ensure that your makeup is going to stay on all day but I hope it helps you navigate it so thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one lots of love for me to you bye loves